Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Brian with Audio Plugin Deals, and today we're going to check out some awesome drum libraries from Musical Sampling. Now we have three different libraries here. They're all from the Boutique Drum Series. We have Penny, Ruby, and Jolene. Now each of these drums, uh, these drum libraries, will focus on a different sound. So Ruby is the heaviest, um, Penny and Jolene focus in on more vibey, as they put it, indie type sounds. Uh, Jolene, of course, reminds me of that country song, Jolene. So I've put together a demo uh, with some kind of bluegrass type guitar, and then I use Ruby in the end for some straight all out metal. So from this quick demo, you're going to be able to hear the versatility of these three libraries, and then I'm going to go even further in depth with the features and sounds available. So let's check it out. So wow, there was a lot to uh, kind of unpack there. So I'm going to start with Jolene. With all of these three different kits, these three different libraries here, we have a ton of different mix options for this. You see the global mix presets. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different mix options, which totally changes the sound of the kit. So well, like I said before, Jolene and Penny are going to be more Indian vibey, and they sh um, describe each of these on their page so Jolene is great for indie alternative country and pop I use it for country because the name Jolene of course you think of the country song um, Ruby is the heaviest that's the one I used for the metal at the end and their page says as well and jo uh, excuse me Penny I think is the most uh, quiet and the most indie um, and intimate in my personal opinion so we're gonna check out what they all sound like and how the uh, functions work you may have noticed here that I'm just putting one key right there and the hi-hat is playing continuously. That's because they have pre-recorded hi-hat grooves that add a really nice human natural performance to your drum beats just by holding one key. So real quickly, we'll, we'll play that, just the drums from Jolene from the intro there. And after I play that, I'm going to drag that exact same groove down into Penny, and you'll hear instantly the differences between the kits. And now finally, let's take that to Ruby, the heaviest one, and see what it sounds like now. So you hear the differences in each of those. Now, even more uh, overwhelming for you guys is going to be the different mix presets. You can 
uh, apply a different mix preset to every single piece of the kit. The bass drum, the snare, the cymbals, the toms, the ride, everything. So for you know demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a global mix preset, apply the same mix preset to the entire kit, but I'm going to do it on the fly and you will again hear the differences between those uh, different mixes. So I'm going to start with Jolene and go through the mixes on that groove I just played. So all of those mix presets sound completely different. That last one really was really fat. Um, that would actually be really good for like an electronic or pop production. But again, just to kind of show you the versatility here in this one library. Also, we have humanization function and the groove speed for those hi-hat grooves. You can change it to half time or double time. So a lot of stuff to unpack there. Now I'm going to show you a couple of the different mixes for Penny. Not all of them because you kind of got an idea on that last one. There are different mix presets for each kit, however. So keep that in mind. There's a ton to cover. I just don't have enough time to do it all. So let's check out a couple different mixes from Penny. So as I'm looking at the uh, mix presets for Penny, of course you can kind of look at the the font there for the Penny, but of course we have the last mix preset is called Lane, so Penny Lane, another one is Abbey. Obviously a Beatles type sound, so I guess that's a good way to describe that one. It's more vintage. Um, Jolene, more country. Penny, more vintage. Ruby, the heaviest one, which we will go to now, and I used for that metal outro that was a complete a uh, left turn there. So let's check out Ruby, a couple of different mix presets for that one. Now also, if you feel so inclined, you can absolutely use Penny and Jolene uh, for the metal track if you so wanted to, if you felt so inclined. We can also use the Ruby kit for that kind of vibey drum sound that we used at the intro. So there are a ton of different things to do. This is the final thing. I'll play the uh, Jolene kit doing that crazy, loud, aggressive metal uh, riff, or excuse me, metal groove at the end. So 
Basically, these are three really, really good, awesome sounding drum libraries. They're very nice and tight. They have three different characters completely for each kit, as well as eight different mix options for each library, which gives you a shit ton of versatility. I didn't know if I wanted to curse right there, uh, but oh well, cover your ears. Um, so that was that. I think this is a really, really nice package, and I had a lot of fun making this demo. So we will play it on the outro. Uh, thanks so much for checking this one out with me. I will see you guys next time.